assalamu alaikum in this tutorial uh, we will make a system uh, about objective marker in which uh, it will have a objective marker icon and also a distance update from the objective to our third person character and the icon and objectives uh, distance will uh, will be seen you can see at any direction even if you are behind the objective in any direction and I'm telling you in advance that in the next tutorial I will make a system in which the distance and icon will be updated on the screen if if even if the objective is off screen for this tutorial we will make a system with just icon and a distance and in the next tutorial I will make another system with icon distance and they will be visible even if you if the objective is off screen let's create a objective marker system with distance for that I have already created a third person character and uh, you can get that character when you create a project with third person template it's a simple uh, third person character with default code by epic games so in order to make objective system uh, with distance the very first thing we have to create is a widget blueprint wb objective marker so inside it we will uh, make a icon and a text for distance update for that we can use canvas panel and a vertical box vertical box and uh, to place image uh, icon objective marker and text inside it and image inside and in text so let's make this vertical box uh, vertical box objective uh, marker sorry let me rename it so I have renamed them vertical box objective marker objective marker and the objective marker distance so here I will put uh, triple zero here with justification in the center and uh, I will use the uh, UE icon default icon let's make it big bigger 70 and text here so now uh, make that vertical box uh, anchor and reduce the size here custom to something like 60 by 60 now you see that it is really uh, in bad position so for that we have to place a scale box scale box inside canvas panel and vertical box a child of scale box now you see it's in there and now we will make a anchor let's uh, resize our uh, scale box So it's good now so now we have our objective marker here ready and now let's create a actor class uh, objective for objectives with BP objective 
so inside here we will put a static mesh and it is not necessary it's just for the indication that we have placed our uh, objectives actor inside the map Q and place size it to a small cube and let's put a widget here it should not be a child of static mesh widget now uh, we have created that widget with the name of WB objective marker so we now place in the widget class WB uh, objective marker now now you will see its begin size and here our size was 60 by 60 we will simply change the draw size to 60 by 60 and let's move it a bit up now it will have a sing uh, problem I will show you uh, first let they sit right now you see if I rotate it like in that angle the objective marker is not visible if I rotate it further now the objective marker is visible and if I move behind it the objective marker disappears to correct it we will make it the space from world to screen and now let's see now it will work in every position now our next target is to update the uh, text distance distance in text for that we have to uh, take the reference of our third person character and BP objectives character in uh, widget blueprint we can do that way and we can also uh, update the distance here it's up to you but uh, here I will update the distance from our third person character to BP objective vector inside third person character for that I have to take the reference of that uh, objective vector into my third person character so there are different ways of taking the reference uh, but uh, I will go that way cause to pp objective uh, but uh, we can do another in simple easy way let's create a variable bp of objectives reference okay now create a type same bp objective of reference now make it uh, click that icon and uh, we don't and uh, let's remove it so uh, cause to pp objective class and pp objective get actor of class and from there we can just simple set the reference now after this we will have a, a reference of that BP objective in our third person character now the next step will be to update the distance from our objective to our distance uh, from uh, to our character we will update uh, distance on eventic let's take the reference and we will use a node get distance to uh, like that 
first of all we will print it on screen to see is it working or not on the event take and we make it zero and make it red color So let's see, yes, now you can see our distance is working fine. Now if I am close to that, you can see the distance is very little. As I am moving away, the distance increasing. So it's working absolutely fine. So we have just to update it on that text. So let's delete it. And now we have to send that uh, value or data float in our objective marker for that we have to create a custom event here event update this uh, objective distance and we will and uh, distance load and we want to update on that text it is our that uh, t objective distance make it variable and simply we have to use set text node inside here we don't need grouping and we don't want uh, data in decimals so zero here so now in our bp third person character we will uh, we have to send data to our bp objective now or oh, sorry wb objective marker so now and uh, there's a, a little point to understand that in our VP objective we have that widget it means this widget is inside that widget component okay now we want to update uh, distance inside it from our third person character so this is our if you remember this is the uh, a reference of our BP objective and inside the BP objective there we have a widget get widget okay so let's delete it so we have that uh, component right now that this one from there we will get widget it will uh, give uh, that widget as object outside in the return value so we will use cost to bp uh, wb objective marker and on event take instead of costing we can also use uh, interfaces but for the sake of simplicity and easy to understand i am using costing but uh, for the performance uh, to make it more performant it is better to use interface so now I uh, we made a uh, that custom event here so we will call event update now we can simply connect that value here now so it's a simple and let me recall you uh, just first of all we took the uh, reference of bp objective actor and then inside the bp objective there is our widget component and inside that widget we have our widget blueprint objective marker uh, this one so inside our third person character we got the a reference of BP objective from the BP objective we get the uh, component widget which is this and from the widget we get a widget which is this one 
that one tick okay now from there we use a cast to wb objective marker so instead of casting we can use interfaces also but for the sake of simplicity i am using casting here and from there we call our event update objective distance that one and inside our third person character we were calculating and calculating the distance from our self that third person character to that objective and we are just sending the uh, value to our uh, objective marker now let's see is it working or not yes is it it is working fine now wherever we you go the distance will keep on updating and the icon will uh, face towards you even if you are behind you can still see it so this was a tutorial about uh, objective marker with distance in the next tutorial i will uh, do and uh, do the thing so now what i will do in the next tutorial so now the marker is in front of you and it's updating and giving you information what if you move the camera away and it goes off screen now you can't see the icon now you can't see the objective and its distance in the next tutorial i will make a system in which you can see the objective and its distance even if you move away and we will get off screen indicator also so till next tutorial allah hafiz